And this is uh, Martrell Upton, um, and right next to me is Ben. He works on the show Thunderbirds Are To Go. Um, and I want to ask you a couple questions about the show, and uh, particularly, Ben, tell me more about what you do, what your role is on this series. So on Thunderbirds Are Go, I am the uh, production designer, uh, and I'm also an episodic director of the show. So I have quite a big creative input into the series. Yeah, and so that's, that's, that's really great, because that means you have... Uh, uh, like the creative aspect behind the show and creating, putting this character together. Some of the, uh, do, you, do you work on the, like the, the the set design of what it all goes down process? Yeah. Can you tell us more about that? How you design some of the scenes, some of the sets and locations of that? Yeah. So, um, for people that don't know the show, uh, it's a unique combination of real life miniature sets and and uh, cutting edge animation. And so. Um, what we do is when we get a, a script through, we work out what, what makes the most sense to build as a physical miniature, what, what gives us the most value, and but to keep it dynamic and pacey, you know, these things will be CG, the, the, the aircraft, the characters, the action sequences, but, but things like mountains, natural environments, water... Um, uh, are more difficult to do in an, as, a, as an animated set, so they naturally become miniatures and have a unique sort of tangible aesthetic about them. So once we've determined that, we then go into a design phase where if it's set in the, in the mountains with a hotel, we go through and we do a piece of concept art, work out what that hotel is going to look like, and then it becomes a real thing. We, we build that hotel as a miniature background. Yeah, and then. Uh, what we do is we, we, we have a shooting process, we film those miniatures with a, with a previs. Uh, that previs tells us what that character will be doing in that shot when, when it comes to post-production. So we can do these dynamic camera moves. And then once that, that film is in the can, it goes on to, to um, post-production and the, the vehicle is tracked into it. And so it's this really weird sort of um, unique look that is like no other kids show that you've seen and that's I think that's what makes this quite special as it stands alone as its own own thing but it pays homage to the original Jerry Anderson series by using using tangible miniatures still. Nice, nice. Yeah I seen the, uh, looking at the uh, the poster and seeing the, the, the CG animations of the, of the show it seemed like the you know you guys do a really really great job with the quality of it Thank you. Um, with the design of it and the production yeah. of it. Do you guys um do you, when like I know it's a continuation of the 1960 series, mm. do you take some of the, the models from that particular show and try to like transfer into this 21st century version of the show? Well, we we, we do we do to a degree. What what with with the, where there's been echoes in this in the scripting, we've tried to to um, basically set it in the same location, but across the board we've we've always. Uh, Take, taken a new sort of fresh approach in terms of, of how we built that miniature and, and where that location is. So um, the, I think the, over, the overriding thing is that um, it's, it's, we're still using the same methodology. We're still using found objects like Jerry Anderson would have used in his sets. People always refer to the lemon squeezer, and oh, if yeah. you look closely, there's a lemon squeezer stuck on the wall. And we, and we use found objects, vacuum cleaners, computer pieces, all that kind of stuff, and they'll become buildings and all that. So that's... For, for me, that's the biggest connection that I, th I think is to the original. And, and some of the locations mirror the original as well. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's that thing. If we, um, it, I always think to myself, if I was working for Jerry Anderson in the 1960s, but I had the technology that we have now, how would I make this show? And I think that's pretty much what we're doing. That's great. That's, a, that's an inter interesting concept to answer yeah. that question. So I want to uh, thank you for the interview, Ben. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. All right. I